TV Girl here from The Voice of TV, and I'm going to be reviewing Dexter, Season 7, Episode 2, Sunshine and Frosty Swirl. Well, after last week's jaw-dropping revelation of Deborah finding out the truth about her brother, is there anything else on our minds? The show is trying hard, or maybe not, to come up with interesting other storylines besides just Deb and Dex, but it's difficult to match up to that. I almost always forget about Mike's story and really don't care, and the only reason I was interested in the Ukrainian mob storyline this week is because Ray Stevenson, aka Titus Pulo from HBO's Rome, I love you by the way, was in it more than usual. He'll be a regular throughout the season as Isaac Serko, and he's just another amazing actor. The show has some awesome guest casting. Why don't they ever do anything interesting with them? So let's start out with this whole Dexter Lewis thing. Apparently, Lewis isn't a serial killer, just an angry, volatile, bitter guy who is still upset about Dexter dissing his video game. I'm not really sure where this Lewis thing is going, but Dexter questioned in his head what Lewis has in mind for him, considering what Lewis did to frame his old boss. So, how dangerous is Lewis? And do we care? Even more boring, like I said, is the murder of Mike, Ukrainian mob storyline. It's just not interesting so far. Maybe it will become more interesting when Dexter is intertwined with the storyline. Mike was a brief character. I have no attachment to him whatsoever. And honestly, with the Deborah Dexter storyline, I think it's hard for anyone to care about this. Who's Mike again? Who's La Guerta? Who's Quinn Batista? The writers really, really needed something very interesting in their side storylines to even pale in comparison to the excitement of Deborah finding out that Dexter is a serial killer, and they have failed miserably at this so far this season. So, on to what we all really care about, how Deborah would react. Now, the trailers for the season have shown that Deborah is going to be at least somewhat sympathetic for Dexter, hearing lines such as, I believe there's still good in you, which we heard this episode. It's really not surprising or even contrived that Deborah would try to protect and save Dexter. Dexter is really the only person in her life she truly loves and her really only real family, so it makes sense. Her belief that she can trap him in her house to keep him from killing some people seems very naive, but what is she going to do? If she was going to turn him in, it would have been right away. I don't even believe that she was really even contemplating arresting him. And is this whole Deborah being in love with Dexter thing going to come up again? I'm still not sure what I think of that whole thing. Jennifer Carpenter and Michael C. Hall are just amazing, superb actors, truly. And Jennifer Carpenter continues to blow my mind with Deborah. I know a lot of people don't like her, I'm not sure why, but she is so good at her role that people think Carpenter is like that in real life. And she isn't at all. She's just great. And the chemistry between the two as brother and sister is perfect, regardless of their real life past romantic relationship. I thought that possibly Dexter being discovered by Deborah would lift a burden off of him, but it's not like that. Dexter didn't want to get caught, so no burden was lifted. It was a little convenient, hokey, how he learned something from Randall, the very articulate serial killer who just happened to be around for Dexter to talk to, but it gave the show a chance to show Dexter ponder about his future. Will he be jumping in front of a bus like that one day? Some unanswered questions and predictions. There's a lot here. Obviously, is Dexter going to kill again? I think that's a rather simple yes. Do you imagine Dexter going through the rest of the series without a single kill? I highly doubt it, not to mention it would be boring. And I even wonder if maybe Deborah will end up helping him with the kill. What will be the fallout between Dexter and Lewis? Is there something more to Lewis than just a creepy, very annoying dude? And like Dexter thought, Lewis isn't even scared of him. Showing up at his house after that and apparently coming into work, this is going to be a huge pain for Dexter, who honestly should have just often when he had the chance, because now he's going to be a huge annoyance. But I guess the writers think Lewis will be fun and exciting for the plot. Hopefully it will be better than the Ukrainian mob storyline. I honestly thought that there was a high chance that Dexter was going to kill Lewis even after Deborah left. I mean, we just heard this weird explanation of as to what drives him to kill, and when he saw blood on Lewis, it's like he turned into this animal. Yet this time he was miraculously able to shut all that down and call Deborah. Okay. Is Dexter going to get caught? LaGuerta realizing that Travis's blood slide belongs to the Bay Harbor Butcher is obviously huge news to her, and one has to wonder, will it lead her back to Dexter? Will LaGuerta make it alive to the end of the season? 
Also, what about Harrison? It's like he doesn't exist. Is Jamie just going to watch him 24-7? Overall, solid good episode. Dexter is almost always entertaining, regardless of some of its silliness and predictability and a bad side story here and there. It never fails to have amazing actors, that's for sure, as shown by the great performance by Jennifer Carpenter as the shocked and totally confused Deborah, who really convinced me. She really deserves some kind of award for her performance, and I don't think the show would be even half as good without her. Also, those frosty swirls look great. I think I'm going to go get some ice cream now. Some orange ice cream, or sherbet, or blood colored. Hmm. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in next week and find more of my video reviews for shows like Sons of Anarchy, Boardwalk Empire, Homeland, Revolution, and more on the Voice of TV YouTube channel, thevoiceoftv.com, and tvgirl.net. It's all there. See you next time.